So today I want to mess around with a new kit and make some sort of industrial loft in The Sims 4. I'm thinking we can try and do it in one of the apartments, but there's actually been some news about the kit, so I want to update you first. Now you might remember this teaser video they posted on Twitter. I literally did not even notice this in my reaction that I made somehow, but this window is different from the window that's actually in the kit. This is the real window we actually got, and as you can see, these two are completely different. Like this one's an edited version of the mosquito window, and this one, in my opinion, is a lot better. And I think that's why I didn't notice when I looked at the teaser and then looked at this. Like, in my head, I was like, oh, maybe it's growing on me. No, it's just different. This one's nice. I'm not a huge fan of this one, but I'm even less of a fan of the fact that they did this. Like, this is truly bizarre to me and very hard for me to wrap my head around. Like, why did they put a fake window in the teaser. I can't think of a way it benefits them. Like, it's blatant false advertising. Like, to me, it seems like it had to have been an accident or some sort of oversight. And I don't want to, like, make excuses for it. I'm just really struggling to understand why this would have happened at all. Well, the news, they tweeted this. Someone posted a picture of the window and said, like, are you gonna address this? To which they replied, this cinematic visual was intended to get players excited about the industrial loft kit. Despite some minor and slightly painful holdups, we're happy to share the window will arrive to the kit in an upcoming patch update. Okay, so you gave us a fake window in the video and now you're gonna actually make the window as some sort of like last minute attempt to fix it. And the other thing I hate is that this kind of thing will happen and then they'll tweet their response in reply to some random tweet, obviously very intentionally limiting who sees it, because you'll only have seen this tweet if maybe you follow a lot of simmers that are retweeting it or talking about it, maybe you follow the Sims Llama on Twitter so you saw it that way, like this tweet only has 649 likes. <laughs> they have 2.3 million followers. And while I can understand why they wouldn't want to post it to everybody, like I get it, you're trying to minimize the damage, I really think they should have at least replied to their own tweet with it, like replied to the announcement tweet and been like, hey, we're gonna add an extra window, like you can try and spin it like, oh, we've got another window we're gonna give you if you want to be all sneaky about it. I don't know. This whole thing has just left a very bad taste in my mouth about the kit. <sighs> Okay, well, let's do the build. So because this kit only has one window, I found it very difficult to build like a standalone lot, you know, like a, a lot in Oasis Springs because there's not a lot of windows that we can use on the exterior. So I chose to make an apartment, but I did use one of the two-story apartments in San Myshuno because this way you can actually make a loft. This one is 701 Zenview. It's where the karaoke legends live. So if you're familiar with City Living, it's where like Darling Walsh lives. I um, evicted all of them <laughs> and I built this. And I actually really like this apartment. Like, I think it's a really cool layout. You'll see that the whole first floor is like the living, dining, kitchen space. There's a lofted bedroom, there's an office, there's a big bathroom, there's a balcony. And the one hard thing about apartments in The Sims 4 is obviously you can't change any of the windows. So I was kind of stuck with what they gave us to work with, but I did add in some extra of the new windows. I used that archway as a window and a door inside which I feel like is kind of realistic for an apartment like this. Like they oftentimes have, you know, like windows to other rooms because there's not a lot of natural light. So you might put a window in a dark room into like the brighter room with more windows. That's New York. You know what I mean? <laughs> but again, one of my biggest critiques and one of the hardest things I've always found with packs, even with bigger packs like Realm of Magic, is the lack of window options. Like, it's great and fun and all good to get a new window, but it's really hard to actually use that new stuff when it doesn't match anything else that we have. So granted, like, the mosquito stuff windows kind of match this one. By the way, yes, I do say mosquito like the bug on purpose. <laughs> You're not mishearing me. I'm mocking the pack. Anyway, there are a couple windows, like metal w windows, that sort of match this one, but not a lot, and certainly not a lot in the base game. So it's really hard to make an exterior that uses this new window, because you only have one to work with and it's arched. It also doesn't fit the mosquito ones perfectly, like it's too skinny to sit on top of them. Like, it just, it's so annoying to me that they give us these great new windows, even with like the, even with the last kit, we got a couple windows, but there's like one that's giant and one that's tiny and that's it. And so how do you fit those in places? Like, you know when CC creators give us a window set? They'll give you like the same window, but all three different wall heights. And they'll give you the same door, but on all three different wall heights. And it's just, it's so good and so useful because you can actually make those things work. But then the Sims team turns around and gives us one window that fits only on small wall height. 
one archway that only fits on small wall height and it really limits your options. And I know it's a kit, it's like a small scale thing, but my god, I just wish that they had given us a like maybe a taller variant or like an all rectangle variant. So you had like the rectangle and the arch or something, just some little extra crumbs perhaps. And this kit would have been so much more usable. And I've said this for years, like that's part of the reason why I never use Realm of Magic. Like those windows are so nice, but they're so small. <laughs> we have these beautiful stained glass windows, but they're so tiny. They're so hard to fit on taller wall heights. Like it's just really difficult to use most of our windows on taller wall heights. And so same problem here, they gave us these short wall height archways. Like you just have a really hard time trying to build with medium or tall walls when nothing ever fits on them. Oh my God, and the swatch problem. And that's just my video the other other day, but <laughs> I will never stop complaining about swatches. Same thing, we've all been saying this for years, but do you see these windows in this apartment? Granted, I can't change the windows in here because it's an apartment, so I can't touch the windows that are downstairs, but you know those windows, like the big glass pane ones? The black swatch on those big glass panes does not match the black swatch on the new window. Like the new window is more of a true black, like it's actually a black metal, and the black on those windows is like a dark gray basically. Kind of like what these cabinets look like, to be honest, as opposed to like the metal on the stairs. You can tell that it's obviously different. And so when you put them next to each other, it's like these are obviously not matching windows. And it's so hard to use them when they don't match anything. And then we have just this one window that doesn't match anything in the whole game. Ah. Oh. Okay. Anyway, I do like the apartment. I just think that I could not pull off a build like this that isn't an apartment. <laughs> like, it's really hard to make a build with this kit that's standalone, at least with my capabilities. I know there's definitely some really talented builders out there that could pull it off, but I'm not one of them. And I tried. But one perk of this kit is that the furniture is actually really nice. I had a lot of fun decorating this house. I am genuinely obsessed with that rug and those new couches. I think they look so good. Like I, one of my favorite couches in the whole game, hands down. I know a lot of people thought it was too shiny and like didn't match the rest of the game very well. Usually I'm very much in that boat of people being like, this doesn't match, but I actually kind of like it. And I think it does match. It's it's definitely shinier than the other leather stuff that we have, but I think that's like a good thing. I think it looks better than the base game leather stuff we have. Like I can tell that they've improved with their texture abilities, which I guess, you know, double-edged sword because they've given us a really nice couch, but then it doesn't match the other couches. <laughs> but we're used to that. Even the hairs have that problem. Like the old hairs compared to the new hairs. Oh my God, worlds different. Anyway, breakdown of the apartment. It is a one bedroom, two bathroom house with an office space. <laughs> so I I guess you might be able to make it into two bedrooms, but because the upstairs is lofted, like you'd have to walk through one of the bedrooms to go to the other one. But hey, we're mirroring New York City, right? <laughs> my friend Hope, who does my captions, I don't mean to mock her, it's not her fault, but my dear friend Hope, who is currently captioning this video, hi Hope, um, <laughs> have fun typing about that. She uh, went to NYU and so she lived in New York City for a while, and in her last apartment, the one she lived in senior year, she lived in a bedroom that was on, it was like a weird loft apartment like this too. It kind of had like a catwalk between the two upstairs bedrooms. Well, her bedroom didn't have a window. Um, it was a nice big bedroom, big closet and everything, but you know, no window, um, which is a slight problem. Well, <laughs> When I was building this apartment, I was very much thinking of Hope and of her weird lofted apartment with the tiny, tiny rooms and the no windows and God, I'm sorry that happened to you. <laughs> I literally cannot imagine living in a room with no window. It did have a window, but like a tiny skinny one at the top of the room into the hallway that then went into the other roommate's bedroom that had a tiny skinny window at the top that had a window. So technically you could see through the series of windows to the roommate's window. Um, so not illegal, but still sad. <laughs> Oh, do you know what? Speaking of windows, I did something bad. I actually covered a window in this apartment. <laughs> there was a window in the lofted bedroom space upstairs that really was just not fitting with my vibes for this space. And so um, I covered it. I put a box over it and I pretended it was not there. So um, was that a good idea in real life? No. For this apartment, yes. I thought it looked nice. <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do. And having platforms is such a good feature for this because you can just like fill up a room with platforms and say, I don't see a room. What window? I covered it. So, but look, it was an ugly window. Where was the bed gonna go if it was there? It just wasn't gonna work. So I got rid of it. I do think it made the space look nice though. I think I really had a hard time with also this little bump out that I put for the, t the tiny bathroom downstairs. I do think it's very realistic, but I ended up putting a little platform on top of it. My whole stream chat was like, put plants on top. And I really tried. 
side. I was going to try and put plants up there, but I just, I don't know how to do that with the plants that we have in The Sims 4. Like, I, look, also I tried the new plant. It wasn't a good idea, so we got rid of it. Don't worry, I scrapped it. False alarm. <laughs> But there's definitely some like trial and error with this kind of thing. And the other problem, so if you wish to download this apartment, um, well, that's gonna be hard. It is on the gallery, but I'm gonna have to show you how at the end of the video because downloading apartments is not easy because we can't actually upload apartments to the gallery. You can only upload rooms to the gallery. Well, this is a million different rooms, right? Like each of those tiny little squares that I filled in with thingies is a room, the bathroom's a room, like all of it's a different space. And so we have to like, delete the walls in between them so that it counts as just one big room. I'll show you at the end of the video, but you're gonna have to download this apartment in two separate parts. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. It's not my fault. That's just how apartments work in The Sims 4. And obviously you like have to have city living and stuff, otherwise it won't work, but that's no surprise. The one nice thing about this is that the bathroom is enormous. You could probably make the bathroom into a bedroom as well if you wanted to. <laughs> at that rate, you walk through one person's bedroom in the loft into the next person's bedroom in the office that also doesn't have doors that close to the outside <laughs> into the third person's bedroom which used to be the bathroom. Oh, great fun. But anyway, the other problem with the kit, same thing with the window issue, how like they didn't give us a full set. I adore that archway with the open doors. I think that is beautiful, but I wish that I also had one that closed. Like, I don't mean to praise CC creators over EA all the time, because I know I always do. <laughs> I'll make a video and be like, oh my god, this is the best thing I've ever seen, EA sucks. But the one really nice thing about custom content build sets is that these wonderful modders will make a window set with literally every variation you can think of. Open doors, closed doors, no doors, like <laughs> tall window, small window, square window, arched window, like it will have literally every option. And EA just doesn't do that, and I don't really understand why. Like, it's not that you don't have time, and you know how to do it, and I just, I, it's money is the problem, let's be real, it's EA, but like, I just wish that they gave us more options. <sighs> Anyway, I'm not a huge fan of kits. I think I this is a, a nail in the coffin for me. I'm really not a big fan of kits. I wish that they would stop making them. Maybe these recent disasters will be like a kick into gear for them because <laughs> they leaked them all. This one is missing items. So fingers crossed it'll be better in the future, but I, I just don't want to think about it. As far as I am concerned, the kits do not exist. All right, let's go pop into game and I will give you a quick tour and also show you how to download it. Little Simsy, you're fab. Thank you. Do you know what? I like this. I hated this menu when they first first made it, but I do like the little like changing phrases at the top. They always amuse me. So maybe I don't hate the new menu. Maybe it's growing on me. Okay, but this apartment is in San Myshuno. It's in this building in the fashion district, and it is this one, 701 Zen View. Now, obviously there are some things that are out of my control, such as the placement of the windows, this ugly front door, you know, it's just apartments in The Sims 4. When you first walk in, it's a big open floor plan. We've got these polished concrete floors. <laughs> Lots of like black and metal and leather going on in here. I also did use a lot of packs and for that I apologize, but you know what? It's hard to download the lot anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> but you walk in, there's a little dining space in the corner here and look at that view from the table. Isn't that amazing? Rusty pipe and all. <laughs> Living room with giant TV. We got some magazines. I'm picturing like a young professional living here, maybe some sort of designer, photographer, I don't know. Massive kitchen, actually, with expensive appliances. There's a little half bath downstairs with just like a toilet and a sink, and that's the whole downstairs. I really liked the fact that this set feels like it matches the new stuff really well. I do take issue with the fact that the swatches are different. Like it's very obviously meant to match, but it's slightly different and that annoys me. Like why is the wood a different color? I, whatever. But this base game bar stool does look good with this stuff, so it all kind of works. This is a get to work staircase and then upstairs you can see the top of that little area. The lighting's weird because it's The Sims 4 but <laughs> this is that lofted bedroom. This is that window I filled up. Um, don't worry about it. It looks nice though. And then through this archway you walk into the office space and then it has another archway that opens to the balcony. Um, no those doors don't close but you can pretend they do and that's all that matters. And they have a fire pit, a bar, like this is a really nice space. And then they have a big bathroom as well. And that's the entire apartment. It's not huge. Huge. Okay, I'm gonna bulldoze the lot. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I want to show you how to download. Oh, no. Um, I'm gonna go to a new save. Yeah, let's try that again. <laughs> Take two. Okay, so to replace this, you have to load into the lot. You cannot do it from Manage Worlds. Hop into build mode. You're gonna want to make sure you have lots of money. If I were you, I might like delete a lot of this. I don't really know if you have to, but move objects is scary. So maybe it's worth it to just start off with deleting things. And then on the gallery, you're gonna see these two really ugly rooms. 
Now these are rooms, not lots. Does that make sense? So you can grab the first floor, pop it down. Oh, the stairs are missing. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, well, <laughs> you have to place them yourself. Yeah, I guess because it's a room, it doesn't save them. Okay, well, move objects on. Oh God, I told you it was complicated to download. It's not my fault, it's just the EA fault. So the staircase goes all the way at the back in this back left corner. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, delete this stuff upstairs. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm not really sure how the second floor is gonna place, so we'll see how it goes. But you plop it right there. Okay, now unfortunately for you, <laughs> you're gonna have to um, do the rest yourself. So here's the steps. Number one, you close off this corner, close off that corner, close off that wall, delete this part. Oh my god, I'm so sorry that you have to do this. And then you have to close off the empty walls that I had to put. So we have to have this whole thing be one room, right? So I had to delete lead a wall in between all the other rooms. I usually do that in the middle of a door, so it's like obvious where it has to go back. So you have to go back and put those walls in where they were before. And once you've done that, it's pretty much fixed. You can go in and like fill up these with platforms if you want it to look less ugly. You're gonna wanna fix the wallpaper. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. Same thing downstairs, this bathroom, I had to delete the wall so you have to fix it. And then it deletes the ceiling, so you need to like build one. Oh my God, I won't let you. So you have to do it like this. <laughs> I genuinely am so sorry that this is so complicated. Maybe it's like a learning experience. You're learning how to fix a dumb apartment. Well, that's all of it. I think that's set up. The one, in my opinion, most annoying thing is this part. Um, I would very much like to put a trim piece there. It won't let you. So we just have to ignore this. Um, and for that, I'm sorry. <sighs> well, it's on the gallery. Feel free to do what you wish with it. If you don't want to use it, that's fine. <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> I will link the past video I made about this kit down below if you want to see it. I also have a ton of speed builds on my channel if you want to watch those. Most of them are a lot easier to download. Anyway, on that note, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. It's like laughable how complicated that was. I did not think it was going to be that complicated. I'm so sorry.